Let's do this. Turn this up so y'all can hear me. <clears throat> I am going like that. I'm going to put this up here so I don't have to hold on to it. Hey, old people. People, people. I need to, let's see. I need to get this to work. Boom, 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 boom. Be with you in a minute, peeps. I'm inviting people here. I'm just going to go down the line and invite all kinds of people. Invite you. Show up, don't. I'm going to invite you. I think I invited the same person twice. Okay. Not three times. Stop inviting the same person. Okay. Ha! Hello, everybody. I'm trying to find a good place where the lighting is good. The lighting sucks everywhere here. Can you hear me? I hope you can. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Oh, what do I need to do here? Let me do this real quick. I've been working on this for a while, trying to get it all set up just right, and then the thing decided to go crazy on me. So, you know, but well, welcome to the Talk Emporium. This is the first ever vodcast podcast uh, that I'm doing now, largely because I have nothing else to do. Tap to what? Hello, Lynn. How are you? I'm starting this podcast, 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 I'll name it 15 different things, I'm sure, before it's over with. I'm going to put this on. <coughs> Excuse me. But I basically wanted to start this, let me have a drink of water. To start, to like, uh, get people having conversations again. Get it started. Hey, Kinder D. Okay, that's bugging me, so I'm going to take those back off. Boom. Shaka like a boom boom. So, anyway. Me and my cameras are not wanting to cooperate. I'm working on this stuff for about two hours. Trying to get it all coordinated and going right. And looking professional and all that kind of stuff. And then it just went haywire. As usual. But that's what I'm trying to do is start my own podcast, or as I call it, vodcast, because it's video. Traditional podcasts are just audio, as I adjust the camera here. Basically, I just, like I said, I want to start conversations, get people started conversating. And I decided, I'm good, well, sort of good. Right now, uh, and I'm going to put this disclaimer out there so everybody knows, you cannot get COVID through the video. It can happen. No way. This is the only place where you can't get it, I'm pretty sure. And the reason I say that is because right now I am uh, on quarantine because I have COVID. I've got the cough. And what's messed up is I got, that's why my first... Uh, talk I wanted to do is about COVID and how it's stupid COVID actually that's what I call it and how it affects me and my family and I know it affects everybody else's family too and right now we're all having you know issues with either we've had COVID or we know somebody that's got COVID or we're in COVID right now like me and shut in and that kind of stuff and it's just, it's crazy. I mean, because there's only so many reruns you can watch before you just lose your mind. Am I right? 
So anyway, I thought, you know, I've been wanting to try doing podcasting for a while. And I thought, let's start a talk emporium. Okay? Where you can talk about anything under the sun. You know, I'm open. Let's talk about it. I don't care. I ain't got nothing else to do. COVID won't let me go out. COVID. Stupid COVID. Anybody else have that problem? Anybody else got issues? And they don't have to be COVID related. If you got something else that's on your mind, let's talk about it. I have to keep taking the drinks because that way it keeps the cough from going nuts. But what was I going to say? I had all this planned and then my mind just went. <laughs> it said, nope, you're not going to do nothing. Um, yeah, I was on my, hold on, technical difficulties. On my computer. Really? Okay. On my computer trying to set this all up on Facebook on there and wasn't having it. Just wasn't having it. But I wanted to make this a place where people could come or join me. Yes, COVID is terrible. It is. It's horrible. And I hate the fact and you know that there's been so many people that have literally died from it. That's awful. What's even worse is that most of their families, you know, they couldn't have anybody with them. That's the worst part. You know, they they had to do that alone. And that just upsets me. Hello, Mary. I hope you're doing well. Actually, I hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> How you doing, Kennedy? Your kids okay? Hello, Mary. I'm waving at you. But, um, lost my train of thought. Hmm. Anybody that's ever watched my videos knows I'm, I'm crazy. So that happens a lot. I lose my train of thought. A lot. But, I decided I wanted to start something new for the new year. And dang you, COVID. I'm going to do it whether you like it or not. Mary, as I was telling them, I'm uh, on quarantine right now because I have COVID. I have the cough. And that's just as bad as having full-blown COVID. My uh, niece who's on here, she had full-blown COVID when she was pregnant with her second child. I'm glad you're doing good, Mary. Um, and that wasn't no fun, because she was, ask a question and something. Where is my, hello, where did I go? Hold on, I'm going to get my brain function in here. She asked a question and something, what did she ask a question in? Where did you go to that? I don't even know why you went to that. Don't even know why you went to that. Oh, you asked the question. Okay. Okay. Where was I? Yeah, I'm talking about stupid COVID. Anybody else? Have problems with that? I mean, mm, it seems like the past, well, I'm just going ahead and say it. Some people like it and some people don't, but it seems like since 2016, ain't nothing been right in this world. Uh -uh. This is the way I feel. You don't have to feel the same way. You don't have to like it. You know, I just want to start a conversation, see how everybody feels. You know, I think that's part of the problem. Nobody, nobody wants to have a conversation anymore. They don't want to talk about anything. They don't want to, you know, it's all oh, just uh, shoot somebody, do something stupid, or dive off of this. I don't know. It seems like that to me. What do you think? What are your thoughts? 
as part of the reason why I wanted to start a uh, podcast and why I'm calling it the Talk Emporium uh, is to encourage people to like come and start conversations. It doesn't have to be, you know, particularly anything that you really wanted to talk to with me personally. You know, you just, it's something you felt like you want to say and jump on here and let's talk about it. I don't care what it is. I will talk to you about it. I'm trying to look at my computer at the same time I'm trying to talk to you. It's not working out too well, is it? I'm going to try to do this. Right, y'all. Move y'all over this way a little bit. Well, I got stuff in my way. I can't move. Well, life is not... Anyway, I'm going to get back to her. Edith here in a minute. Arr, so I can get the chair to move. What is behind me that won't move? Hmm. See, life isn't scripted. You can't, like, you know, go back and, uh, there we go. It isn't scripted. You can't go back and edit real life in real time. Right? I mean, if we could, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Because I would get rid of 2016 to now. Redo that whole section right there. What do you think? Would you do the same thing? If you had it to do over? Would you change things? If you if you had a button where you could just edit stuff that you just did, you could like rewind, suck it all back. Would, would you do that? I'm not talking about good stuff. Good stuff, we want to keep that going. I'm talking about bad stuff like stupid COVID. Hop on here and talk to me, y'all. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I do know. Tell me you don't like me. I don't care. We'll talk about it. I'll see why don't you like me. Anyway. I'm planning on doing these. Trying to do these on a regular basis. But it's not working out too well. Always with me, it gets started and then it stops. Why can't I hear you? Where's my art? Oh! How do we get... Okay. I see what I did wrong. I'm losing my mind. How do I want to... Go back to here. Thank you. <sighs> nope. Hmm. It's not gonna let me in. Ugh. Excuse me, pardon me. All right, so back to the drawing board, so to speak. I'm going to try to turn this off real quick, so that will quit distracting me. Where's the any key? Shut up. All right. You know, bake. So anyway, what are you, 
Hang on, I'm having some issues here. Okay. Yes, Leanne, I was vaccinated before I uh, got it. And that's what's so messed up, is I had been fully vaccinated. And then got to not feeling good a couple of weeks ago. Or actually, I've had this cough for like had a cough for like a, maybe a month, but it's gotten worse and worse and wasn't really going away. And so I went to get checked out just to be on the safe side and then found out oh, I got COVID. Kind of makes you want to just not go and get checked out, doesn't it? Hi, Melissa. Uh, ba -bum -bum. Let's see. I'm going backwards. Okay, now I'm back on track here, I think. No. Nope. There we go. But, I'm going to try this one more time. It's always, always me. Every time I go to try to do something, and I spend two hours, like I did today, planning, working on stuff, trying to do it on the computer, then everything just says, no, 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 I'm not going to let you do that, no. So, kind of looks like it's coming out of my head, doesn't it? Oh, well. <sighs> and see, see, life is not like that. You can't, you can't do that in real life. Real life, you just, everybody sees that you're crazy. You're scatterbrained, and you don't have your crap together. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to start this podcast. Or as I call it, a vodcast, because it's video. To me, traditional podcast is audio. But, you know, podcast, vodcast, who cares? It's video where I talk and say stuff. And hopefully I get some of y'all to interact with me and talk and say stuff too. Um, and like I said, we can talk about anything you want to. I just chose COVID because it's something I'm dealing with right now. And what's, what's messed up is this household. There's me. There's my mother, my father, my brother. My dad is a Vietnam veteran. He has all kinds of health problems. He has diabetes, he has heart trouble, all this kind of stuff. Who's the only one that don't have COVID? My dad. How do you invite other people? Yeah, how do you? Should be able to invite other people, just like tag them or something. Yeah, just invite them like you would on a normal uh, Facebook Live. Yeah, hopefully, Leanne, yeah. I think it's the only thing that saved me from having it as bad as it could be is the fact that I was fully vaccinated before I got it. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'd be in a bad way because... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The shirt's going a different direction I want it to. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's... Uh, Life isn't scripted. It's not something you can go back and edit in real time. You can rewind and, you know, if if we could, what would you wipe out? Because there'd be a lot of stuff I'd wipe out. I'd be like, you know, wipe all this out. Go back to where I used to be when I was little. Uh, Cool, yeah. Oh, you're inviting in all of them. Inviting in all of them. Did you did you hear that? I'm from Kentucky. Oh, 
Okay, let's see which way we're going on this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yeah, should be a button at the top or somewhere. Somewhere on your end where you can invite people to join you or you can just tag people or whatever like you do in a regular Facebook Live. Because that's what I'm doing is I'm recording it on Facebook Live here. Then I will have it on the YouTube page for Talk Emporium. And there's also a blog for Talk Emporium. Um, the YouTube page is, uh, you just look up Talk Emporium on the YouTube page. And it should come up and you should see the little goofy design. Hello, Brenda, how are you? Um, but I just wanted, I want to do something to have fun. Yeah, it should. Some way I'll give you that option. Anyway. I, uh, where was I? I lost my train of thought again. Y'all need to help me. Come on now. Woo! Messing with my camera is not a good idea. Like I said, I started to do this on my uh, webcam on my computer. And that decided it didn't like me. So that was a wash. Why is there not invites? I don't understand this. That's not what I wanted. On my end, I just go into this little thing and... Did I invite you? I thought I invited you. Cha-cha-cha-boom-de-hey. And then I invite... Peepless. I'm inviting the same people, I think, two or three times. I should stop that. That might be a good idea. Okay. Brr, what is my goal for this video? My goal for this video is what is your goal for uh, the video blog? There we go. Uh, my goal is just basically to uh, get people a conver uh, conversating. Yeah. Get people talking. You know, give me something to do. Uh, but I, especially right now when I'm in, uh, stuck in the house with COVID anyway. But I've been wanting to do something like a, uh, video podcast or a, a video blog, whatever you want to call it. I've been wanting to do something like that for a long time just to give me something to do, an outlet, you know, so I'm not sitting and talking to myself. <laughs> Although I don't mind doing that because, you know. I listen to me pretty well. But I wanted to share conversations with other people, other adults. Let's talk. But of course, 
life has other arrangements going on. Let me see, what the heck's going on with this thing? Huh. Hello, Mary. Oh, you you had to go do something. This this thing is acting up tonight. It's not wanting to love me. Not real sure what it's doing. Okay. No, I don't. Me and this thing are going to have to fight. Okay. Pretty much it's given me and technology just don't get along. Anyway, I wanted to start this video blog about just, you know, talking. Because I think that's what's happened is the world's got out of having conversations. I don't think they want to have a conversation anymore. They want to just, you know, do something stupid. Oh, I'm trying to get this thing up. Cooperate with me. It's not wanting to. So anyway, can I move that? That's not what I wanted. All right, it's been a while since I've done this Facebook Live stuff, so I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. But yeah, the goal of my video blog or uh, podcast is just to be able to have a conversation, have some fun, and maybe get something started, you know. And we don't have to talk about... Uh, Thank you, Leanne. You have a good time wherever you're going. And be careful out there because it's raining. Wonderful new year, isn't it? Starting off with rain. Nasty weather. I think that's part of why I still got COVID. Get a little bit better and then the weather's nasty and it's like, well, you're crap. Start coughing again. But... That's kind of what I was wanting to do, is get started, you know, doing anything, something. Hey, Kiva, what's up? <coughs> Excuse me. I still have my side gig for right now of the uh, paparazzi jewelry. But that's not what this is about. Just in case anybody's interested. The rain's washing away 2021. Yeah, there we go. Wash it away. Happy New Year, Kiva. I hope it was a happy New Year for you. I thought that was pretty cool. I was watching last night. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was watching. Oh, the ball drop in New York City. I was watching that. For some reason, I watch that every year. I don't know why. But I was watching that, and I thought it was cool that... Um, there were people out in the streets, like, usually, there are, on New Year's Eve, there was tons of people out there, and, you know, to ring in the New Year, and all that kind of stuff. I thought that was cool. Georgia Schmick? Hmm.
you thought she would be a good addition to my show or I'd be a good addition to hers? Which is it? I'm open. I don't care. I will talk to anybody. Largely because right now I'm on quarantine because I got COVID. And don't worry though, you can get it through here. It will not go through the screen. I got screen protection. Da -da -da -da! So it's not going to go through there. <clears throat> ah, to the group. Cool. I don't think I have her on mine, but if you've got her on yours, invite her if you can. I'll see if I can invite her. If I can find the right thing. I'm going to spell her name wrong, probably. Oh, Lord bless it. Come back. Ooh, you rotten egg. Take me back. Hang on, y'all. Blind leading the blind here. Do, 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 do. Why do you keep doing that to me? Machine? How does she... Hey, Tammy! How you doing? Hello, Mary. I'm right now. I'm trying to talk about uh, COVID because that's what my main issue I'm dealing with right now. Where is this other person's name at? I lost it. Hmm. Do do do. Oh. Went to something entirely different. Okay, I'm going to stop messing with that because it's just making me mad. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh. Who's sending me the love? Thank you, whoever it is. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm trying to get back to where I was supposed to be. <laughs> Dang it. I done messed myself all up. Do, 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 do. Hang on, y'all. Okay. I've messed it up. All right. Now I'm back. Yeah. Anybody you know that you can invite, if you found the invite button or whatever, Tag them, punch them in the face, <laughs> no, pull people off the street, whatever you want to do. Anybody you got there with you, I hate having this up like that because then I'm looking right at the words and not at my camera, I feel like, anyway. Ah, where was I? I was answering Mary's question about what I'm going to talk about. What I am talking about right now, like I said, is COVID because that's what I'm dealing with right now. I have COVID. Stupid COVID. Hate that. Because I'll be, you know, okay. And I'll get up and think, okay, I, I'm, I'm okay. I can get up. I can do something. Five seconds. I'm hot. I start coughing. Oh, no. Blech. No, can't take it. Then it's like, okay, sit down and rest for an hour. I hate that. But I know I don't have COVID as bad as some people. You know, there's other people that didn't get vaccinated and they have it way worse than I do. 
you know, I know that, but I think it's the only thing that saved me from having it as bad as it could be is the fact that I did get vaccinated early on. But still, I don't like it. Could do without COVID. Anybody else want to talk about it? Or talk about something else? I don't care. Join the group and let's talk. Because I think, it's, it's, like I said early on, I think that's what... You had it in February and you couldn't smell or taste. Yeah, I heard that. I'm getting to wonder if some of my taste buds have gone out because I was eating something I usually eat the other day and just didn't taste right. I don't know whether I was just went into it at that time or whether it was the COVID thing. I don't know for sure, but oh well. Hey, but I have, uh -huh. I think partly due to COVID, lost 11 pounds. I know some people have, you know, gone the reverse when they're uh, quarantined with COVID because they're shut in and all they do is eat. I'm shut in and I don't feel like eating. Isn't that the nuttiest thing? I've been trying forever to lose weight. Couldn't do it. Get COVID. I'm down to 11, down 11 pounds. Don't get it. I don't get it. But whatever, you know. If it works, it works. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. But my whole thing is every time I have milk products taste and smell like bleach. Oh, God. Ooh. I hear you. I would hate that. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a skinny person. I got this way all by myself. I know that. Eating too much of too many things. I'm sorry if it was good. I just got to eat it. Just got to eat it. Oh, thank you, Mary. I'm doing okay. I mean, other than having the cough and having periods where I get to coughing real bad. And like right now, I'm out of my cough medicine and cough drops. So I gotta be careful. Because if I start coughing, it ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Soon. Cream cheese is awful. Yes. I can imagine it is. I can imagine. So far, my taste buds, I don't know. I don't know if they were off to begin with. And this has just got them switched on different. I don't know. It's weird. Because like I said, most people that have COVID and are shut in, they're gaining weight. Because they're eating more. I got COVID and I'm shut in and I'm not eating that much. I just don't feel like eating that much. I mean, like I said, I've lost 11 pounds. I don't know whether, 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 wash my hair and my mouth with. I don't know whether it's because of COVID and because I just don't feel like eating. Or whether it's just, you know, my body decided, okay, we're done with this eating crap. We need to just stop. I don't know. But I've been trying to lose weight. I'm still working on it. I don't know what to do. And right now with COVID, you know, you don't really feel like getting up and doing much. Like I said, if I get up and do, do anything and I start getting hot, and then I start coughing, and then it's game over. You know, I got to sit down and rest and don't want to do nothing for the rest of the day. So I'm trying to take it easy with this talking stuff so I don't get too dry mouthed and get myself started coughing because that, that won't be pretty. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. It won't be. But that's what I'm dealing with. Rith? <sighs> with right now is uh it really drained you yeah my mom's got uh that's the funny thing here or not really funny but another odd thing there's four people in this household and one of them has ptsd and has diabetes and heart trouble and all this kind of stuff he's the only one that don't have covid the only one that don't have covid 
<sighs> Which, you know, I'm glad you don't have COVID. I'm glad. But at the same time, I'm like, what? I got, what? But it is what it is. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of sitting and doing nothing myself because of this. I just, you know, it's like, I should do this. Uh, no. It, it'll be there tomorrow. I'll do it later. Of course, that's part of my problem why I, I am so big. I'm figuring this out, you know, as I'm going along. See, that's what happens when you have conversations. You figure stuff out. And that's part of why I wanted to start doing, uh, well, I wanted to start doing a, a podcast anyway about anything. I was trying to think of anything. And then it came to me, you know, how about just getting everybody together and talking about stuff? How do you feel when you have PTSD? PTSD is like post-traumatic stress syndrome. He got his from serving in Vietnam. So that is where you just, it's, you know, you have like nightmares, flashbacks, affects you differently, you know. And it's, I know it's hard on him because he's the one dealing with it, right? But we're all dealing with it. Everybody in the household deals with it, you know, because we're his family. We're trying to help him, you know. So everybody's having to deal with it. So it's affecting everybody, you know. PTSD affects everybody. Excuse me. One second. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, and it's just, I, I'm not really sure how to describe PTSD in a nutshell. i just say it makes you crazy. You know, you're welcome, Mary. And I don't mind answering questions, people, about anything. Ask me questions. That's how we start conversations. We ask questions. And I was taught in school when I was younger, it was all right to ask questions. It's how you learn. Right? It's how I learn. But yeah. That's what PTSD is, and yeah, it affects him, and it affects everybody. Um, I mean, we all have to deal with it. We're all trying to help. We're all trying to, you know, figure it out, make it better. There's not, it's not like you can take medication for PTSD. You know, you can take some medications for, like, your mood or depression or something like that, but... It's not, you know, something that you can take, oh, here, do this, and then it's cured. You don't have it more. No. No. It's the same with depression, which I have depression. I try not to let it get to me, but I have, you know, medication that I can take to help with that. It helps, you know, prevent me from being, but it's not like it's going to cure it. You know, I mean, maybe one day I get up and I'm not depressed anymore. That would be great, but right now, that's that's not the way it works, and I'm okay with that. You know, I mean, I'm not okay, okay with that. You understand me. You all know I'm crazy. So anyway, that's uh, mainly what I wanted to talk about. Is just getting conversations started, getting people talking again, getting people, you know, asking questions and saying, hey, uh, why is this like that? Why is that like this? And, you know, what does this mean? And why are you nuts? Because I'm me. So, you know, and I, I encourage everybody, you know, ask me anything, drop a suggestion of something you want to talk about. It don't have to all be about me talking. I don't care. You want to talk about something? Let's talk about it. I'm open to suggestions. But that's that's why I wanted to start a podcast. Really. It's, you know, to have something to do with my life. Because I was feeling like, you know, 
I, I don't have a job right now. I don't have, uh, I'm not going to school. Probably need to go to school, go back to school and learn something. Uh, you know, and I, I don't have any money coming in. I feel like a freaking freeloader all the time. <coughs> Devil is trying to stop me. Mm -mm. But that's the, the issues I'm dealing with right now. And my whole idea is that, you know, like I've said before on this, I'm repeating myself, I know sometimes, um, life isn't scripted. It's not something you can, you know, can't push a button and like rewind and edit that part out that you just said. And, you know, you can do that. You can go back and say, hey, I'm sorry I said this to you. You can do that. But it's still there. You can edit it out. You know, real life is not not something that can be done in real time, you know. Real life can be done in real time. That was a smart conversation right there, wasn't it? See, I need y'all's help. Y'all need to come help me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to start something new for the new year. And, of course, you know, best laid plans. As usual, when I start to do something live, it's just don't want to cooperate. I had all this stuff planned out, working for two hours on my computer, and then it said, nope, I'm not going to do it. So I had to revert to using my phone and doing it this way. Because I was determined, you ain't stopping me, Deagle. No! And that's what I liked about watching the, um, if anybody watched it last night, uh, the ball drop in New York. I watched it on TV. And what I liked about it is the fact that there was, there were people, like usual, lots of people, you know, down in Times Square celebrating and ringing in the new year and stuff, like usual. And it, to me, that was saying, uh, okay, thank you, Mary. You have a good night. I hope you're staying dry. <laughs> Ooh, this rain. Um, but yeah, it was to me that was like all of them saying, you know, forget you, COVID. I'm, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have a good time. You know, we're taking back our life basically, and that sounds like a good idea to me. I'm tired of, you know. All this boohoo stuff going on. You know, like I said before, I feel like from 2016 on, ain't nothing have been right in the world. It's all been kind of topsy turvy and goofy and what have you. And I just, you know, I felt like people don't have conversations anymore. They don't talk to one another they don't you know ask questions and stuff anymore and it's like you know you you're griping because this is happening but yet you don't want to sit down and talk about it come to a solution you don't want to you know you'd rather break somebody down than actually sit down and discuss what's going on for real and figure it out maybe it's just me i don't know Maybe it's COVID. Stupid COVID. Hate that with a purple passion. And I know, like I said, I don't have the COVID as bad as most people or some people. And I think it's because I did get vaccinated early on. And I'm not telling anybody you have to get vaccinated or any of that. You know, you're adults. You do you. I got to worry about me. You know. Uh, if you don't want COVID... And you don't want to give it to somebody else. I would suggest getting the vaccine. But, you know, I'm not going to make you do it. I mean, I would rather not have it. But what's funny is I did get the vaccine. 
fully vaccinated and I still got COVID. But I think that's the only thing that saved me from having full blown COVID is that I got the vaccine. But let me tell you, even half blown ain't all that great either. It sucked, but it did. But I was sitting around, you know, trying to think of things to do because I'm always trying to think of something to occupy my time since I don't work outside the house or any of that kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I wanted to find something productive to do with my life. And I, you know, there's all these people doing uh, podcasts and things like that. And they're, uh, some of them are making money. I will go ahead and say that. Yeah, some of them are. But I, you know, right now I'm not really worried about making money. I'm just worried about having something to do, having an outlet, having, you know, conversations, starting conversations with people and getting things out, basically, venting. I used to do that with my best friend, but unfortunately she passed away several years ago, so... I mean, I can, but I'm would basically be doing this. <laughs> so maybe, hey, maybe I am talking to her. I don't know. Maybe she is here. Maybe she's watching. I hope she is. Oh, there's lots of people I hope was watching. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, and again... Y'all, you know, don't leave me hanging here. If you want to talk about something else, let's talk about something else. Give me a subject. Steer me in a direction. I mean, that's why I named it the Talk Emporium. Because an emporium is usually like, think of a Costco or a big box store, something like that, where you can buy anything under the sun. So... We can talk about anything under the sun, or above the sun, or near the sun. I, I don't care. If I don't know what it is, I'll tell you. I, I have no clue. But let's talk about it. I'll learn something. I'll find something out. Me and my clothes just always have issues. It's glitching. Oh, mud. Probably because of the storm. I can't stand that when it does that. Hmm. What is it? Is it just like not coming through right? Or is it the sound or what? Is it light? Hmm. So far it looks fine on my end, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is doing. It's crazy. I'm going to have to get me my plug-in soon, my cord. My phone battery is getting a little low. And I don't want it to die. The audio was off? What the what? Make sure it's turned up. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening with this thing. Me and electronics don't see eye to eye. I don't know why. I try to be nice to you. Don't I? Phone. I try to be nice to you and give you chances. Talk to you nice. Try that with my computer. It don't love me. Uh, 
going to keep going as long as I can. Ouch. Is Kennedy still on here? Where'd she go? She give up and leave me? She get tired and go sleep? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people still recouping from that, uh, celebrating, huh? That's possible. That is possible. I hope everybody did have a good time. I hope they did, you know. I don't want to encourage people to get out and get drunk and all that, but after the years we've had, having some schnapps is looking pretty good right now, you know. I completely understand it. Especially right now when I'm sitting in with COVID. Not that I was an outgoing person to begin with. But still. Pertinent is. It's not fun. COVID. No. You know what me and mom did last night? We watched the, like I said, the New York. Times Square stuff, and we had uh, those solo cups, you know, the plastic cups, and some of that um, cupcake wine that you left here, you and uh, Kennedy or whoever brought it for Thanksgiving, <laughs> was still here, so I cracked that open, we had some of that to ring in the new year, it's pretty good, pretty good. That's pretty much the only time I drink. I sip a little bit of something like that. It is funny because the way this is set up, messages and stuff, my nose is right above Patmore. I look like I'm snorting my own last night. I'm going to back up. So. Do, do. Do, do, do. Um, hmm. What was I going to say? That's another problem I have. My brain just keeps. <sniffs> oh, to be young and insane. Insane in the membrane. Trying to get this where I can. Hold on. Right. Which way do you turn? There we go. Where you can see me pretty good, but where I don't feel like I'm staring at the comments. Because I think that's part of my issue, is I keep looking at the comments and not paying attention. I'm getting sidetracked. No, you still have no energy? Yeah, Melissa has COVID too, people. She's shut in at her house. That's not fun. I know it's not fun. And I hope... Were you vaccinated already? I think you were, weren't you? But still, I know you don't feel like doing squat. You want to just lay down and do nothing. That's why doing these videos, <laughs> I like doing this, because I can just sit here and do nothing. Talk. It's easy peasy. Until I start coughing, and then it's, you know, game over. But right now I have my ceiling fan in my bedroom going. That's where I'm filming this. And I've got the windows open a little bit. Let some air circulate. Keeping me cool. So we'll get overheated and start coughing. Okay. Yeah, I thought you had gotten vaccinated, but I wasn't positive. But yeah, you had a... a yeah. I didn't really get the headache. That's why I don't understand. Because when I went up to get checked out... Main reason I did is because I didn't feel good. Yeah. 
but I had coughed and coughed and coughed and coughed and couldn't get it to stop. You know, I'd taken stuff and what have you, and still was coughing pretty hard. And so I thought, well, I'll go up and get checked out, just be on the safe side. Didn't think I would have COVID. And then, found out the results come back that I do have COVID. And I was like, what? No. And then my mom, she went up because she wasn't feeling good either. She was, She's feeling worse than I am, actually. I think she's feeling a little bit better today. But I think she's getting a little bit worse than I do. Even though we have all been vaccinated in this household. We all got vaccinated early on. And still, all but one of us has COVID. That sucks. Much but. Much but. And so, yeah, we don't have energy to do much of anything, any of us. We're all like, you know, get up, do something for a second, and then it's like, no, that's it. No. Nope. I'm done. Nope. And with me, I get up and I do something for like a second and then I start getting hot and I start coughing. And I cough and I cough and I cough, 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 cough. And last night it got so bad that I actually threw up on myself a little bit. That was not fun. It was not cool. No. Made for a bad night. So I, I kicked back and didn't do nothing for a good while until rested, you know, until time for the ball to drop. Then had my one obligatory little drink. And shortly after that, went to bed. Slept pretty good. I, uh, got up this morning with this whole intention of today it's going to be all about doing this vodcast video blog podcast whatever you want to call it the dog yeah he's talking to uh, Foxy that's how it usually works around here yeah. Welcome to the household. Wish I had like soundproofing to like keep the rest of that out, but I don't. And I'm poor as Job Stargy, so I can't afford nothing. Yeah. So you may do with what you got. But yeah, he was bringing the dog back in she was outside for a little bit and he was bringing her back in they don't get along they don't but yeah it's just a dog she's just she's not a bad dog really she's just still a little hyper And of course, with you know, everybody having COVID or with dad not having his issues, nobody feels like messing with the dog. Or we try to mess with the dog, but then it's you know, she's too hyper for us, and it's like, oh no, I gotta sit down. My COVID, my COVID's whooping my butt, I gotta sit down. Yeah. Between the dog and the COVID. No. Not gonna happen. Well, I keep adjusting this and it keeps not wanting to cooperate. I don't know why. Dog in the background's head's cut off. I 
That's why I'm going to start, the, like I said, just start a conversation with somebody about anything. I don't even care anymore. I decided I was going to talk about COVID to start it off because it's what I'm going through right now. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people going through it too. I mean, I wish that wouldn't happen with a lot of people, but it is. Can't do nothing about it. Can't do nothing about it. <sighs> thought about putting on makeup and stuff, and then I thought, why? Because of COVID, partly, and because I'm lazy. Completely. But, uh, you know, my whole thing about this podcast is that life's not scripted. It's not something that you can, you know, that you can just go and that thing that you didn't like right there is gone. No. Life is what it life is. You know, and it's all in how you deal with it. I think how you deal with getting knocked down and you know how many times do you get back up you get up back up every time or you just decide okay I'm done and I think that's part of my problem or has been that for a long time I've decided I'm done and then right now you know as I'm doing this this year and what have you I'm like I'm done with being done I'm gonna get back up I don't know how <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. No clue. But I got to do something. And of course, then I get COVID. And it's like, I can't get out. And go do nothing. Even if I wanted to, or could. It's like, well, pooty. We'll just sit here and drink water. And try not to cough. And try to have a conversation with people. And we'll just do this. I started this at 5 or a little bit before. And it's been an hour. I don't know if I should keep going. I think I'll go for another hour maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to keep talking because I think that's boring. Me just talking. But I don't know what else to do. My nose itches. Oh. I need more people to jump out here and tell me. Give me something else to talk about. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Cramp, 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 hold on, cramp. How often am I planning on doing these? Uh, well, I, as often as I can. It depends on, you know, if I get any more people joining in and wanting to, to do it. Because I might do another one tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. But I got to think of something else I can talk about. You know, because that's a, another problem. I don't want to be the only one coming up with ideas. I want to be one-sided. It's a talk emporium. I would like everybody to be in on it and talk and, you know, put their two cents worth in. I know it's kind of hard, you know, because this way you, you can't really talk. I wasn't sure. All right, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be weekly or if I'm just going to do it just whenever. 
I may just do that. Do like a weekly thing. Do like maybe one or two nights a week. It depends. It depends. If I can get it. Anybody like chiming in and sending me um, requests or whatever to talk about stuff and what have you, I'll do it as often as I can, you know, as often as needed. Because that's the whole point. I want, you know, just let's talk. Let's talk about whatever. I don't care what it is. Let's just talk about it. Do something. Give us something to do. To talk. Have a discussion with people. The weather's bad. COVID's nuts. The world is nuts. So, you know, why not hop on your phone or your computer or whatever and just have a conversation with somebody for like a minute or so, however long you want to. However long you want to join and talk. And I want them to be, you know, lighthearted. I don't want anything to be like drab and boohoo and all that. It's not what I'm going for. I want, you know... I just want us to be able to have conversations about stuff and to, like, uplift spirits and stuff, basically. I want to help uplift spirits and, and uh, encourage people and stuff. You know, I think we get enough negative junk in the world. We don't need, that's not what we need. We need some positivity. But yeah, I mean, I just, let's talk about it, whatever, whatever you want to talk about, give me a subject, shoot me a line, you can drop the comment and say, hey, this, uh, hey, can we talk about this, or, you know, you can shin, shin, you can shin, <laughs> I swear, that's only water, send me an email to the, to Talk Emporium, it's not the talk emporium22 at gmail.com. It's all one word. It looks like one word. T A L K E M P O R I U M. Talk emporium22 at gmail.com. There is a YouTube page. Talk Emporium. There's a blog, Talk Emporium. As I said, I tried to get all this, you know, where it was all professional and have all this stuff up where y'all could see it and, you know, for yourselves and that kind of thing. And But, you know, technology had other ideas for me. I said, nope. Nope. Your 2022 is not going to work that way. No, no, no. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm wanting to do is just try to start a conversation. Any conversation. I don't even care. I don't even care. We can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. I am open to suggestions. Just, you know, keep them clean. No hate. No hate on nobody. I don't want to do that. That's not what I'm about. My phone binged. I'm not going to check that until after I get done with this. If I try to check that, it's going to be a problem. So I got a niece and her husband got COVID right now. They're shut in their apartment. Sucks bootay. I don't even watch it. This thing is weird.
Yeah, I haven't done a live show in a long time, Facebook live show in a long time, so I'm kind of out of the loop on how to do some of this. Yeah, that's my opinion, is that 2016 on, it, the world just ain't been right. Ain't been right. I could be wrong. I'm not saying my opinion is all that there is. I'm just saying I have one. And I know there's lots of other people out there in the world that have opinions too. Maybe they're like me. They feel like they, they are just are not hurt. So that's why I decided to start the Talk Emporium. The podcast. Vodcast. Whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. And along the way, you know, it helps somebody out. Makes somebody feel better. Just to be able to say, hey, you know, I was part of a conversation. For like an hour or so. I didn't do nothing but sit there and listen. Or I sit there and I gave the topic and then we discussed it. I, I don't care. It's not like I got anything better to do. <sighs> I just decided this year, you know, I'm going to pull the plug. I'm going to do something. Keep saying, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it may change. I may decide after a while, you know, Nobody's really interested in it. I may change and do something entirely different. I don't know. But for right now, I'm working on this. Oh. And I'm doing the, the live videos on here on Facebook. Then when I'm done on here, then I'm going to post them on YouTube. And I'm going to try to post them on the blog, too. Excuse me, pardon me. Hi, Kendra. How you doing? I hope you're staying away from COVID. I hope so. I tried to. It got me. But at least I beat it to the punch. I had my vaccine fully vaccinated before I got it so mm, take that COVID they got me but you ain't got me as bad as you could have my nose itches I swear with me it's always something every time I try to do a lie it's always a coughing fit or nose is itching The devil is just trying to stop me, and I ain't going to let him. No. No. It's heard of that, too. Scoot over, chair. There we go. It's really just. I may have to close these windows because I'm getting a little cold. Okay, Melissa, you get some rest. Hope you get to feeling better soon. Oh, that COVID ain't making you feel any good either. She's got the COVID where she's, it's making her head hurt and all that kind of stuff. And man. It is just not fun. Uh, it is not. I don't know anybody that likes COVID. COVID were a person right now standing right here. I'd punch him in the face. I would. I'd do it. I don't like COVID. Make me mad. Make me mad. Because all of the people in this household, there's four of us. We've all been vaccinated. And only one of us doesn't have COVID. That sucks but. But. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm working on a um, 
podcast is what this is, or I'm trying to make it a podcast. I don't know. Called the Talk Emporium. You're encouraged to hop on here and, you know, talk about whatever you want to talk about. I started this off with talking about COVID because that's what I'm dealing with right now. But if anybody's got, you know, something else you want to talk about, please, please let me know. Just drop a comment. Say, hey, I'd rather talk about this. Is that all right? Yeah, it's all right. We will talk about it. If I don't know anything about it, I'll say. I don't know anything about it, but let's learn. Tell me what you know. If I haven't gone through it myself, I might know somebody that has. We can talk about it. I don't care. I am running out of things to say about COVID because I really don't like COVID. But yeah. It's terrible the way COVID has affected people. Lots of people. It's not just, you know, one particular type or one particular financial level or one particular uh, race or whatever. It's everybody. Everybody. I feel sometimes like we're living in the end times. That's what I said the other day that I felt like I was talking to mom. I said, it feels like we're living in the end times because there's this stupid COVID. Hey, Kendall, are you feeling any better? There's the stupid COVID. Stupid COVID. And then there's the um, wildfires and floods and hurricanes and tornadoes and there was a hail storm in Africa, people. I've never heard of that before. That blew me away when I heard that. That Africa had a hail storm. It was like golf ball size hail. I'm like, what? What the what? So, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's the end times, people. It's the end times. I have a feeling I'm going to be one left behind. So I'm not, you know, I'm not a good Christian. I know that. I try, but I am not perfect. I hope you weren't hopping on here to force somebody who's perfect. Cause I'm sorry, people. I'm not. And COVID's made me even worse. I thought it was funny, though, because most people, most reports with COVID, they talk about how, oh, I gained so much weight because I was shut in and I couldn't go nowhere, do nothing. All I did was eat. I don't feel like eating. And I have actually lost 11 pounds. You know. It hadn't been like it in the last... You know, all one time. It's been a little bit at a time I've lost and got down 11 pounds, yeah. But I don't know if it's because of the COVID or if it's just because, I, you know, I don't know. I'm glad. Yeah. Wish I knew what it was because of, but I just don't feel like eating. Not the way I used to. I don't know if that's an age thing, too, you know, because <laughs> I'm 50 years old, people. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't look it. Mm -mm. But I am. Sometimes I feel it. Definitely feel it. I'm getting a little chilly right now because I opened the windows a little bit. I got my fan going. Keep it kind of cool in here so my COVID don't flare up. Because mine is a cough. Nasty cough. And I don't want to start coughing. Because then I have to get off here. Because um, I'm out of cough medicine and I'm out of cough drops. 
So I'm having to like take it easy, you know what I'm saying? I gotta keep, you know, keep myself cool, keep myself like just sitting here talking, I'm okay. I'm gonna have water. You might have to go get me some more water. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And I decided that, you know, life is not scripted. So, you know, I'm not going to script anything. I'm not going to. I'm going to be real. Real life sometimes really sucks. And I feel like since 2016. Why would you send me a friend request, Tara? You're already my friend. Is we not friends no more? What? I don't think that was actually you because I know your last name's different now. Mm hmm. Well, I had to touch the screen. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, Kendall, are you feeling better? Is you feeling better? <laughs> Her husband's name is Ulysses. We call him you. I don't know if he likes that or not. See, not like that. If he doesn't like it, don't tell him I called him that. Oh, watch, he's probably sitting right there watching it too. <laughs> we'll be like, woman? Sorry. If you are watching, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Is it, is the sound or anything messing up? Because a while ago it was messing up. It was glitchy and stuff and it was acting up. I had this whole idea I was going to do all this on the computer. It was going to be really kind of professional and all that. And then at the last minute, my computer said, no, uh-uh, I'm not going to let you do it. Afraid not. Afraid not. Ooh, that makes the text bigger. Woo! Woo! That Miss Marlene Clucky. Clucky Gibson. Yeah. How are you, Mary Lynn? Are you on here? You just checking in. Okay. All right. We're playing that game again. All right. Hi, Mary Lynn. How are you? Y'all doing okay? I'm trying to start a conversation. I'm trying to. About anything. I don't even care what it's about. I just started a conversation tonight about COVID because I'm dealing with it. Excuse me. Blah. Pardon? I was telling people that, you know. Everybody in this household, there's four of us, and we've all been vaccinated, completely vaccinated. And out of all of us, there's only one person that does not have COVID. And that's the person that has all kinds of other problems. That's my dad. You believe that, Mary? Mary Lynn? He's the only one that don't have COVID. The rest of us got COVID. I think it's not as bad as it could have been because we were vaccinated first. But still, it ain't no fun. It surely ain't. Because, you know, you get up and you do something for about five seconds, then you get hot and you start coughing, and then it's like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. That, if you get up at all. If you decide to do anything at all. 
couple of days, me and mom, we just like, no, we're just going to stay here. We're just going to veg out in the living room watching TV. But even at that, there's only so many times you can watch a rerun before you just get thoroughly sick of it. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to think of something to do. You know, new year, start something new. I've been saying for a long time that I, I would like to try doing a, a podcast. So I thought, well, I'm going to pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. 2022 is going to be the year. So I started the talk emporium that's what i'm calling it and then talk about everything under the sun above the sun around the sun in the universe past another universe i don't even care just talk about it get on here and have conversation let's conversate Okay. I want a COVID cough. Thank you. No, COVID coughs are worse. That's a just dry throat cough. I may need to go get me some more water soon. But, well, hang on. You have anything you want to talk about, Marilyn? You know, you can drop a suggestion in the, the comments. You can say, hey, can we talk about this? Yeah. I don't care what it is. If I don't know anything about it, maybe I know somebody that does. And you know, like I said, that's my uh, podcast idea. That's my thing. You know, if, if I haven't gone through it myself, maybe I know somebody that has. And we could start a conversation and be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I, that happened to me. Yeah. This is what I did about it. And so in, in kind of a way, you know, helping lift people's spirits and stuff, where they don't feel like they're the only ones out there in the world with it, or doing it, or having it, or whatever. So you feel like you're a part of a group, maybe? I don't know. Just feel like you're not alone in the world. Sometimes people feel that way. Uh, I promise I said I've lost 11 pounds. I don't know whether it's because of COVID and I just don't feel like eating. Or whether it's because I just decided this year I'm done. Not, I'm not going to eat no more. I don't know. It's a start. But I've done it before too, so. You know, started and then turned around and went right back up. It is what it is. It's real life. That's the way it happens sometimes. Real life is not scripted. It is not, uh, you know, like I said, it's not something you can edit. In real time. You can say, oh, I'm sorry I said that to you that way. That was wrong of me. You know, but that's after the fact. And it's still going to be there. Still going to have happened. It's like, if I had an edit button, I would edit out from 2016 on. Redo that whole shebang. You know. Because I think the world has just sucked since 2016. My opinion. You don't have to agree. I'm okay if you don't agree. Just, you know, don't be hateful. Just say, I don't agree with that. Yeah. But COVID has messed up. A lot of people's lives, you know, cost a lot of people their life. I'm lucky. We're all lucky. And I don't know if that's just because uh, we got vaccinated or just because of the good Lord. 
Either way, I'm cool with it. But I know there's people out there in the world that may not be as lucky. And I just wanted to start, you know, people don't don't have conversations anymore. I don't think. They don't just sit and talk about stuff just to shoot the breeze. You reacted to my video, Kendall? Did you say, oh, this is junk? <laughs> I'll check it out later. I'd try to do it right now, but me and technology are not getting along at the moment. So, I just need something to talk about. I'm running out of things to talk about. Isn't that awful? I'm talking for you, but I'm running out of things to talk about. Nobody really sent me any, um, Request to talk. Thank you, Kendall. You know, any any uh, suggestions or anything like that? And I thought I had it, had it on there. The way you could do that, you could just you know drop me a comment on Facebook or Messenger or whatever. Or family, you can call me. Top three goals for this year. What are my top three goals for this year? <laughs> I have no clue. To survive another year? <laughs> to find a way to make some money? To get over COVID and feel better? Have some fun somewhere along the way? Me and Mom were talking about that. Excuse me, before. <clears throat> About how we used to have fun. We used to do stuff. And we haven't for a long time had any, you know, like, done anything really fun. Oh, you know, I went back and I found that video where we went on that um, vacation that one time and we went, all of us girls, to the uh, bed and breakfast and stayed. And, uh, the video where our car, cars got, you know, we got haunted or whatever. I found that today. That was really interesting. I still don't understand what happened there. Yeah, we got ghosted. I still don't understand what happened there because that was odd. We weren't that far from the cars. And I pretty much could see them the entire time. Where I was at. Fun times, yeah. We did have fun on that trip. We had fun on the other trip where we went to the uh, Smokies, too. That was fun. But now, you know, because of uh, COVID and nobody having any money. Oh, of course, I didn't have much money to begin with. <clears throat> And, you know, people having COVID and not feeling like being able to go anywhere and not being able to go anywhere because of COVID. Can't really get out and do anything anymore. That's why I wanted to try to do this and, you know, find some way to make it fun. You know, doesn't have to be drab and somber. It can be fun. I don't care. Give me something fun to talk about. I don't even care. I'm crazy. I don't care. I will talk about it. If I haven't gone through it personally, I might know somebody who has. Fun times. Fun times. Here's a fun time. Memory. Anyway, a little fun time. We had moved into this place on McKinley Street. Big house. Used to be my grand, great. We have to find joy even in dark times. Best wishes and love to everyone this year. Oh, thank you, Kendall. Same to you. Um, And you're right. We do. 
We have to find joy even in dark times. And that's part of what this, this podcast deal idea is for me, is to find some kind of joy in something and, you know, try to help other people find some kind of joy. Where, hey, here, you know, we're, this person's dealing with the same thing. Hey, look, you know, we're not alone in the world. There's somebody else going through it too. So, you know, we just, we got to find joy. We got to find fun times and we got to try to get back to that. That's part of what I'm wanting to do with this, this podcast is get back to some fun times and, you know, let's talk about something fun. Let's do something fun. Let's, I don't know. You want me to change the name? Give me something else to call it. I'm open. I'm open to suggestions. Just, you know, constructive criticism I can take. But, you know, let's don't be haters. Can't stand that. Won't deal with it. Ugh. Excuse me. Pardon me. I like doing fun. fun let it out. Not talking, apparently. I like doing fun stuff. The live shows I used to do for my... Uh, Side gig, as I call it. I used to do all kinds of crazy stuff on there. Uh, pardon. Pardon to me. And if anybody wants to see that, wants me to bring that stuff back, make it part of this, I, I'm open to suggestions. Tell me what to do. Because I have no clue. I'm I, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I don't know what I'm doing. I'm flying by the seat of my pants in a pretty big pants. But anyway, part is I was gonna tell you a story about fun times. We were living in this big house that just rented this big house, and we were fixing it up. She was on here earlier, Kendall. I don't know if she's still on here or not. I know she wasn't feeling too good herself, but luckily she didn't have COVID. Thank the Lord. I know most of us who have COVID are like, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and tell you, if COVID was a real person standing right here, I'd punch him dead in the face. I would. Don't like COVID. COVID sucks. It does. If there's somebody that likes COVID, you can say that. I don't care. Be honest. But I, I really doubt there's anybody that does like COVID. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure everybody does not like COVID. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. I can be wrong. I don't care. Story. I was telling you a story. Haha. <laughs> Sorry to. See, this helps when your brain is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just rented this big house. It used to belong to my uh, my great grandparents actually, and we got the chance to rent it and live in it. And we had just recently done that, and we were doing some redecorating and stuff. And me and my dad were at home, and we were going going through the house, uh, working on the floors. We had taken up some old carpeting and gotten rid of all that and cleaned that all out. And we were putting down this uh, peel and stick tile. It was cheap enough, you know. We could do it. It wasn't like rocket science, so that's why we could do it. And me and him were working together doing it. Handing it, I'd hand him a piece. You know, I pulled the back off, handed it to him. He put it where it goes. And we had a good system going. And then one time he says, well, where's the piece? You didn't hand me the piece. I said, yeah, I did. I just handed it to you. He's like, well, where is it? Know where it was? Stuck to his bottom. He had sat on it. Mm -hmm. 
his behind looked pretty good for about a second. Hmm. That was fun times. But that happens. That's real life. A lot of fun stuff happened in that, that place. A lot of fun stuff. On one hand, I wish we could go back there just because of the fun stuff. But on the other hand, you know, you can't go backwards. You got to go forward. But, you know, I wish we could get back to the fun times. Where everybody's, you know, getting along and having fun and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, it seems like since 2016... All the fun in the world has been sucked out. Fun and brains and... <clears throat> Just, you know, general humanity. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. Been sucked out. COVID's been put in its place. Can't stand COVID. I got to talk about COVID until I can't stand it no more. When I didn't stand it to begin with, I need a new topic. We were talking about fun times. Some of the best times that I, I remember the one uh, girl's trip where it was all the ladies in the family. Me, myself, me, myself. Hello. Yeah, I'm two people. <sighs> myself, my mom, my sister, and my three nieces. And we all decided we were going to take a girl's trip to go pick up this rocking chair that my mom had bought on eBay. And it was up in around Philly. We had a great time. Even though mom fell at one point and busted her face up. You know, not super bad, but pretty bad. I mean, still, you know, the injury wasn't too, too much fun. I understand that, but the trip as a whole was fun. The all-girls strip that we took where we went to the bed and breakfast. That was fun. The Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, yes. Those were delicious. Mm. Actual Philly cheesesteaks in Philly. And what was funny about that is it was in a little, little bitty uh, restaurant that was run by a Chinese person. I think China, Orient, some, I don't know, Chinese Japanese? I'm not sure which. I think it was Chinese. I hope I don't offend anybody by saying that, but I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was Chinese, but I'm not. We need the all. <laughs> we need all the girls to to go next time. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying to mom the other day. We need an all girls trip. We need to go somewhere, anywhere. All this, just go do something. I like doing that. That was fun. The trip where me and mom and Melissa went to the bed and breakfast the first time. Because we went once. I had a great time, the three of us. And then we went back again with my nieces. Three of us and my nieces. Three nieces. We had a great time. That was the time that we got we got ghosted. Then we went. Was it after that that we went to Philly, or before that? I think it was before that. Yeah, it was before that that we had gone to Philly, and we had a great time. 
See, I think women know how to have fun. We know how to have a great time. It's the hey, old guys that ruin it. Although when we went to the Rockies, or the Rockies, the Smokies, that time, the guys were with us, and I think everybody had fun that time. That was cool. Even when my brother was a human toboggan. <laughs> Where they were getting chased by some dog or what have you. And he grabbed one of the twins, I think it was Kennedy, and became a human toboggan going down the hill to get down away from it the fastest. Fun times. And there was a hot tub there. Oh, yes. The only downside was we probably could all fell asleep right in that hot tub. Oh, that was fun. And there was something for everybody to do. You know, we didn't all have to stay right with everybody, each other and do the exact same things. We could go out and do something else, you know. That was fun. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, life used to be fun. And then COVID. <clears throat> oh, you're watching Harry Potter. Which one? Is it a newer one of the Harry Potter series or is it one of the older ones? Enjoy. Either way. <coughs> Do I have anybody else on here? It says I have two people. Who's two? Oh, myself and Kendall. And Kendall's leaving me. Dang it. It's on HBO Max. Okay. Oh, you watched the reunion one earlier. Oh, okay. I used to watch those too. The series as they would come out. I've read a couple of the books. But then I got to where I was like, I don't want to read. <laughs> I'll wait for the movie. I'm going to watch it tonight, movie night plan, yeah. <laughs> watch some. Trying to find some new things to watch. Because there's only, you know, like, so many times you can watch a rerun before you're just thoroughly disgusted with it. In Oak Island. I love that show. Me and Mom watch that show all the time. Every Tuesday we watch it. Last Tuesday they made us mad, though. Because they were doing a behind-the-scenes thing and not really doing the Oak Island stuff. And it made me, made us kind of mad. We watched it. But we were still kind of mad. What? Really? Do you know we're trying to find the treasure? Heifers? But yeah, we had we had a good time. We have a good time when we do that. That's our uh, my stars say that's our together time, but we're together all the freaking time. That might be our problem. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Yeah, if you got other things you want to do, you got to do whatever, go, go ahead, go do them. Go do them. Have fun. Oh, 
I'm almost at the two hour mark. I'm going to keep going until I hit the two hour mark and then I'm going to stop. But I am trying to start up a podcast called The Talking Forium. I've got a YouTube channel set up called The Talking Forium that this video is going to be posted on later. I've got a blog set up called The Talking Forium. Goes with the everything. Right now the blog just has the basic you know, the show notes and the introduction and all that on it. But you're welcome to, what a letter now. Welcome to check it out anytime. It's on uh, mm -hmm. uh, Blogger. I go through Google. Because, you know, uh, I mean, technology, like I said, we ain't, we ain't that much paisans. So, I go through things that are simple. It says, do this. And it'll show up here. And that's how it'll be. Yeah, okay. There we go. Works for me. You know, it gives you this idiot proof. <laughs> says, you know, show you how to do everything and you just do it. Just do it. And YouTube, I use YouTube. I started YouTube a long time ago just doing like like saving videos and stuff that I like to watch and then when I started doing the paparazzi stuff I was saving my little what I call my little commercials for that over there and I saved some of my live shows well most of all my live shows that I did for paparazzi is saved on that YouTube channel but I've got a separate one uh, up and running for the uh, talking for him. And I hope to be adding, you know, stuff to it. I hope I get more people, you know, jumping on the bandwagon and coming and listening or just suggesting things to talk about, whatever. I'm open to talking about stuff. I'll talk about whatever. I don't care. Like I said, as long as it's not hate. Not people hating on anybody as long as it's not like, you know, just start to finish potty talk. I'm not down with that either. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm Lily White and that I've never said bad words. I have. But I just don't generally like to, to do that. You know? It's just the way I roll. But I'm not gonna tell you and you you can't you can't talk like that. I'm I can't tell you how to be you. Okay. Yeah. I can't I can't take care of anybody else. I can't even take care of this right here. Because like I said, I've been trying to lose weight for years. Years. And I will have lost weight, and then I'll turn around and gain it right back. Sucks. Right now, I'm very proud of myself that I've lost 11 pounds. But, I'm not going to get, you know, super excited because, you know, I'm waiting until, like, I, if I hit, like, a certain number, get below a certain number, actually, I should say. Then I might start, you know, jumping for joy and all that. Well, I'm going to jump for joy because white girl can't jump. But <clears throat> I'll be more excited is what I'm trying to say. Anybody want to talk about weight? Talk what? But talk about weight problems? Talk about life? I don't care. Let's talk about it. I just want to talk. Got nothing else to do. Let's talk. Right now, my uh, COVID cough is at bay because I got my windows open. I got my fan going. It helps keep me cool. And I'm taking it kind of easy. 
I'm not getting too overly excited because, see, yeah. Get up and start doing something. Like, earlier I got up and I went in just to do the dishes. And there weren't even that many dishes. I'm washing the dishes. I get, you know, over here and I start coughing. It's like, man, Lord, I'm just trying to wash a dish. Can I just wash a dish? And then I have to go sit down for, like, the rest of the day because I'm coughing. And a COVID call, it's like horrendous. I think I'm slowly getting over it. I think. I don't know. I thought I was over it the other day. I thought I was slowly getting over it the other day. And I got to coughing and... Oh, I had to go visit the bathroom. I don't like that. I don't know anybody that does. No. If you do, you're weird. No offense. But you are. Bingy, bingy, bingy. Is there anybody still on here with me? Boom, chicka rock, chicka rock, chicka boom. Oh. I don't have any viewers. How does it, it says there's two people watching me. Who else is watching me? You are upsetting me, machine. <clears throat> is there anybody else still on here with me? Y'all tapped out on me. That's okay. I got about five minutes. And then I'm going to shut her down. Shut her down. Yeah, I intend to do this again. You know, I would really like, really like for y'all to start, like, commenting or sending me emails to the, send the, your emails to talkemporium22 at gmail.com. Talkemporium22 at gmail.com. Or you can go by my, the, the, the YouTube channel, Talk Emporium. Leave a comment there. Or you can go by the blog on Blogger, which is Talk Emporium. See? It all goes together. I am going to post this video on the YouTube channel uh, when I'm done. Well, maybe not right when I'm done, but at some point between now and Monday. I'm going to post it. Learn how to talk. I'm going to post it on the blog if I can. <clears throat> Pardon. And I'm going to have it up here on Facebook too, saved on Facebook. For a while. So come join me. Hang on, I'm gonna check something. Okay. So if you're watching on some other uh, thing like um, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, I'm going to try to put this on TikTok also. I don't know if it'll work out though because this is a two hour long video. I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it'll work, but I'll try it. I might leave a link on there as to where you can find it and one of the other things to go and watch it. Maybe. Might do that. I don't know. Uh, kind of new to TikTok. I've been on TikTok 
to watch some, you know, some fun. It's for fun. Because I got nieces that, a niece that's on there that does uh, TikTok videos. Pretty cool. I like the way she does them. Wish I could do that. I'm not that talented. Oh goodness. <clears throat> Got two minutes and then I'm shutting her down. Oh, boom, dun, dun. You can watch the replay of this. You can comment on the replay on Facebook. I'm open. I don't care. Just let me know what you think. It depends on what people think about this inaugural shot here. Anybody else likes it? If anybody else wants to see more of it, then I'll do it again. I might do another one. I don't know. I said I might do it tomorrow, but I, I don't know if I'm going to fill up to that. I don't know when I'll do it. But I'll hop on and do it at some point. Until I find out nobody wants to watch it. Nobody's interested. Which I should find out pretty soon. Hmm. In which case, I'll do something different. Think of something different to do. Okay, it is now 7 o'clock. I've been on here for two hours. I am going to close this out. Thank you to all the people that did join me. And, you know, got in the conversation a little bit. I hope you come back. I hope you're all well and healthy and blessed and... Have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I just really would like to talk to somebody. Talk to me, people. Come on back. Talk to me. Have a good night. <laughs>